My name is Ola Banji Shonibar. I am an applied scientist at Amazon. I work with the Pearl Language Understanding Service and Response Team within Alexa Speech. My name is Aparna and I'm a senior applied scientist in the Alexa Speech Recognition Team. Currently, I'm working on building better experiences for bilingual customers of Alexa, just like myself. My name is Venki. I'm an applied science manager in Alexa AI. Me and my team of scientists uh, work on different paralinguistic signals associated with voice. As we know, Alexa is used by many customers across languages, across age groups, with different types of voices. We make sure we understand everyone irrespective of their variance in their voice. Hey there, I'm Jaime Lorenzo. I'm an Applied Science Manager in the Alexa Test to Speech Research Team. I joined the team three years ago uh, with a task to improve the expressivity and naturalness of our synthetic voices, and this resulted in the release of the emotional capabilities for Alexa. Currently, I am working with many other teams trying to push forward the envelope of what we can do with our technology. I'm Kayoko. I'm a Senior Speech Scientist in the Texas Speech Team at Amazon. I joined Amazon five years ago and initially worked on the launch of Amazon's first Japanese text speech voice in the Poly service, followed by the launch of the Japanese Alexa. And more recently, I've worked on the launch of Bilingual Alexa, making the American English Alexa voice speak Spanish. Buenos dias, mi gente. I get to work on problems that are not well defined. You will be expected to um, develop and deliver end-to-end -end solutions. You would work on problems that are unstructured. And then, depending on the level, uh, you might be expected to, um, to mentor a junior colleague as well. One of the things that anyone will notice when they work in Alexa AI is the amazing group of scientists and engineers that we have around here. So there's lots to learn. Over the last two years, I've learned quite a bit. It's helped me become a better scientist, a better thinker, and a better employee. We are constantly learning new things, so we are having to adapt and adopt new technologies. Not only that, we are keeping learning, we are keeping absorbing technologies from other fields, such as NLP or computer vision. There is always a chance to keep learning new things, so I'm never bored. Many of the problems that I've worked on did not have any prior research work on it, or very little of it. There are also problems on which there's plenty of research available, but many a times the work done on academic data sets doesn't really translate when we work on solving these problems for Alexa customers. I really enjoy the challenge of working on and solving these problems and this is really what makes innovation at the heart of what we do at Alexa. Nowadays, more and more machine learning techniques are being applied across different domains and in Texas speech we're using a lot of approaches developed outside of the speech domain which means that we see a lot of researchers with completely different backgrounds joining us in TTS. The customers uh, they are placed at the forefront of every decision we make and so if there is any character or skill you think that would enable you to be customer obsessed, that's a plus one. Alexa is a fantastic place for anyone who wants to work on solving real world practical problems with deep learning in the speech and natural language understanding space. There's plenty of opportunity to innovate and build state of the art solutions for some of these problems.